A University of Tennessee graduate made history this morning. Captain Barry Butch Wilmore and his crewmate Sonny Williams became the first NASA crew to go into space aboard the Boeing Starliner capsule. Now, this isn't the first time that Wilmore, who is a graduate of both the University of Tennessee and Tennessee Tech in Cookville, has been to space. But this test crew mission will affect the future of NASA's Starliner spacecraft. And Sonny and I are honored to share this dream of space flight with each and every one of you. So with that, LC, let's get going. Now let's put some fire in this rocket and let's push it to the heavens where all these tough Americans have prepared it to be. The delays that Starliner has faced have been well documented. Wilmore himself has been through three years of delays and two crew changes. But today, it was all a go. The Boeing Starliner was developed at a partnership with NASA to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Wilmore and Williams are due to dock with the ISS sometime around noon tomorrow. Commander Butch Wilmore there. So when I was in space, I did things that you know, flips and backflips and that time it just, I did one every single morning because I could, you know, I've got like a two inch vertical jump here on earth. We have been following Wilmore's work with NASA, including past trips to the space station for many years now. He has two degrees and an honorary, honorary doctorate from Tennessee Tech, as well as a master's degree in aviation systems from the University of Tennessee. Wilmore says he is loyal to both schools. I have degrees from both. So I say, go Vogels, go Eels. <laughs> I'm rooting for both. <laughs> now we have seen, as you see here, Wilmore wearing big orange on his past space trips. We're not sure if he'll keep up the tradition on this historic mission. We'll just have to wait to see. Meanwhile, his other alma mater has plans for Wilmore's trip to space. The astronaut will take part in a video question and answer session with the children of Tennessee Tech faculty and staff during his nine-day stay on the space station that will air on NASA TV.